Hey guys, Greg here with RW Stilling. Hey, wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the deflagmator. Um, this is the, uh, the portion that actually sits on top of your tower uh, before the loop over cap and the loop over is installed. Um, this is actually the, the, the first condensing stage of, of your tower, of, the, of these towers that I'm, that I'm selling. Um, you know, I, I wanted to go over that a little bit with you, and I wanted to actually show you guys how, how to fabricate those. All you, know, you fabricators out there, uh, if you go to our site at rnwdistilling.com, you can buy all these components to actually, actually fabricate these things and save a little bit of money as far as um, you know building these things yourself. So I uh, wanted to go over that a little bit with you and show you. You know that uh, you know this is this is what we're putting out. This is the product that we're putting out there. It's got it does have the brass um, ferrule on both sides, and, and they're 99.8% uh, lead free. We can um, we can do these in copper. If you guys you know you guys out there that want want to build you know personally, I can I can build these things, and, and, and my guys can build these things uh, with with the uh, with the copper uh, ferrule too. But uh, we like the brass just because it gives a great contrast. Um, and again, these things are 99.8% lead free, so you don't have to worry about anything leaching into your product. Uh, we did do a half inch uh, adapter on, on our, our um, inlet and outlet for our, uh, for our uh, cooling um, container for the inside of this thing to actually condense this material down so it drops into your columns so you can stack your columns. Um, and we actually added a uh, actually added a, a, a closed thermoport so you, you can actually screw your, uh, your thermometer into this end right here and you don't have to worry about you know uh, putting tape on here or anything like that because it is a closed system there um, I also wanted to show you you know how clean these joints are that we've done um, we do spend a lot of time on getting these things cleaned up for you guys and um, you know it's it's uh, I'm really proud of, of how these things have turned out so um, I wanted to show that to you and also want to um, actually uh, go into the fabrication portion of it and how to actually make that for, for you fabricators out there that, you know, are, you know, scratching their heads, you know, wondering how, we're, how we do this. Um, okay, so first of all, we go to the chop saw, I'll take a piece of half inch uh, copper pipe and uh, we cut five sections at uh, four inches. So five half inch pipe at, at, at four inches and then we cut uh, one, pot, one piece of half inch pipe at three and a half and we cut two pieces of pipe at three quarters of an inch and I'll show you how all that goes together but as of right now that's what you need to start to start the uh, deflagmator and um, I'll, I'll kind of go through the process as, as, as we um, go through this thing and you'll see, kind of see how we put this thing together. Alright so just bear with me I'm, gonna, I'm doing this on my own today so I'm going to be shutting this thing on and off and, and just, uh, just show you step by step on how I do it. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Um, all right, this is. Uh, I went ahead and cut my uh, five sections at four inches and my one section at three and a half, and I and I cut my two pieces at three quarters, as you can see. Um, as as you see, once you make that cut, you know there's some material that you need to clean up. So I take this over to my uh, my drum sander, actually my disc sander, and and I just I just uh, you know touch the disc sander and, and take care of these edges and, and knock the burrs off of everything. And then what I'll do is I'll take it over to my um, my uh, grinder, or actually it's not my grinder, it's my buffing wheel, and on one side of the buffing wheel I actually have a, a wire brush or a wire disc, and, and, I, and I'll go ahead and put that wire disc on the bottom of this and just clean the inside of this and deburr the inside of that. Make sure when you use that di that uh, that's, that wire disc that you, that you wear eye protection because it does it does expel some material as you're using it, and, and you, want it, you want to protect those eyes as much as you can. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll let you look at the uh, the end result of that. Um, so you guys can you know start there and, and uh, follow up with another another section. Okay, so bear with me. All right, here I am at the uh, grinder, and here's my uh, grinding wheel. Again, guys, full face mask. I use a full face mask to take care to take care of this to protect my eyes because it does it does expel material off of this thing. These these little things shard off and they hit you. So protect your eyes guys if you're going to be using this grinder okay so I'm just going to show you uh, my next step on what I do when uh, when I take care of the uh, inside areas of the of these pipe okay so just bear with me
worry about doing those three quarter inch pipe because because you're never going to see them and you're never going to get your fingers around them so anyway that's basically what i do i mean when you go to clean this thing out you're not going to get cut so um that's that's how i take care of the inside burr on the on these pipe okay all right guys the next piece is going to be the uh the body uh this thing this this section here is five and a half inches okay we need to slide this thing to my five and a half inch mark We'll make this cut and uh, we'll have this body section ready for fabrication, okay? So just bear with me so you don't got to listen to this noise. All right, I've got the body section cut, all right? And again, this chop saw cuts these things perfectly at a 90 degree, which is what you want based on the uh, ferrules that we have fa have had fabricated. Uh, the shoulder on the, the, the CNC machine has actually cut a shoulder on that ferrule, and I'll show that to you in a little bit before we get going on fabricating that. And it's just, it's just imperative that you use something that cuts these, that makes these cuts 90 degrees from this. So um, just, just want to let you know that. But th this is one of our body sections. So we're going to take this over to the, uh, to the table now. We're going to start fabrication. I'll kind of show you um, where we go from here, okay? Okay. Here we are at my, um, my edge, edge sander. Um, what, what, I do with this, what I do with this piece now is, is th there's a lot of burrs on this, so I want to deburr this. And on the outside, the way this ferrule, uh, the way this brass ferrule uh, fits on there, it's fairly snug. So I'm going to camphor, I'm going to camphor the edge of this just a little bit, just so when I go to put this ferrule on there, that brass ferrule, it, it slides on a little bit. I still got to tap it on there, but it just goes on a lot easier. So, so sh I'll, I'll just let me show you what I do when I do that. Okay, I turn this on. edge of that quite a bit, you know, just so that that ferrule will go on there a little bit better. Let me go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Now, now I want to take this over to my oscillating drum sander. And I'll knock off the inside of that just to clean that up. Now, there's a number of things you can do. You can take a little Dremel tool and you can do your thing. You can do it the same way out there. I just got these tools and it just makes it easier on me right. because I... Here's, a, here's my oscillating uh, drum sander. As you can see, I got a, a three inch thing on there. This is a four inch pipe. If I was, if I was doing a, a three inch body section, I would change this drum out to a two inch to make it a little easier. But I'll show you how I take care of that. Now I've just knocked down the inside of that, so that's nice and clean, and that's a workable piece of material now. Okay, so that's how I, that's how I take care of that and get that body section ready. All right, let's move over to the uh, to the fabrication table, and I'll show you how I start putting all this stuff together and what components I need to use to make this happen. Okay.